Good afternoon already. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, this is a status report about the Dutch uh, tech campus we're trying to build. Um, first, a small introduction. Why do you want to tech, build a tech campus and, and where does it come from? Um, we're from Hack42, the Dutch hackerspace in Arnhem, the best one, as written by uh, Hackaday. Somewhere in 2013, when they visited us, they had to rebuild their website to present, present our awesomeness. A small history, we were founded in 2010 in a small building somewhere nondescript, somewhere in the center of Arnhem. It was, uh, but it was nice to start. Then we got thrown out as nondescript buildings get torn down very quickly. Um, so we moved to a monument. Um, it's uh, built in some um, unfortunate times in the past by some German unwanted visitors, but the building is part of a monument and it still stands. As uh, we did not have a permanent contract for this building, we had to move uh, to be sure that we kept on having housing, which meant that we had to downgrade to a smaller building. Um, and from this building, we do have a movie. I try to integrate movies in my presentation. Um, this our software is crashing. Oh, there it is. I get a formulator box. So, uh, quick time. So this is, uh, we currently occupy only the first and the second floor of this building. Uh, we had an open day and somebody with a wireless crane came by and made some movies. Uh, as drone flying is totally not allowed in this region due to a nearby airport, a military airport. Um, as you can see, it's not really in the city. It's not very um, close by. It's a very nice area, but yeah, you need to go there by car as the bus stop is only during weekdays, during office hours, um, stopping there. Uh, we do have a chapel next door, and uh, as you can see, he was trying to operate a wireless crane and learn that. Uh, what you see here is the center of Arnhem, so it's a bit far away. Um, so we thought, hmm, an upgrade in the future would be nice. Let's continue, yeah. I said current slide, but. Um, Beehive uh, 4.2, the story is that um, at some point, the prison in Arnhem got emptied out. There are no prisoners anymore. And it's going to be on the market for sale in the near future. It was on the market, they needed the space to house refugees. Uh, that worked very well and everybody was happy with it, except that it's not marketing-wise very handy to put in refugees inside an, something that's called a jail before and that's on the map as a jail. Um, now here we have some words. Um, this presentation is also used to um, give for governments and um, so, so we could, took the standard slide deck. Um, a nice map of the prison. Um, as you can see, the big round thing in the middle, um, that's housing most of the, the sleeping places current, uh, uh, in the uh, past there were cells. All the other buildings around are a church, um, some working areas, woodworking, metalworking, um, some entrance buildings, parking spaces, a lot of office buildings, and a tennis court or heli landing pad. How does it look like? It's this. And that's what we want to buy. Um, in the past, there were, and, and currently there are a lot of hacker camps every year. It's uh, all, all the acronyms. 
The problem with that is only less than 2% of the time. It's only a few days in a year that you have my things like Easter hack, uh, congregations of large hacker groups. Um, and yeah, as you have a lot of space and a lot of sleeping places and um, a big wide area in the middle uh, where you cannot build anything as it's a monument, um, it has a roof, so it's not raining. You should be able to do a lot of things there. We're currently seeking for IDs of what you can do there. Um, and yeah, to give you some IDs, some real life Mario gaming would be nice, but. Um, what to do with this space? <laughs> what to do? G g give us some ideas. I mean, yes, you can put in two white houses and the shared space shuttle and still have space left. <laughs> um, for American people, we're not measuring a football field. It's, uh... Then the question is, how do you want to, to buy it? What do you do? What's the plan? Um, now, we have some people, uh, Jos, Arjen, Bart, Martijn and Hilke Jan. They all have their, their experience in either architecting, um, brick buildings buying, or uh, IT, or, or hacking and security. Um, as these people are very well qualified and very well trained, they, they, yeah, still some adult supervision is required for them. Um, for that we have uh, Bart Jacobs at the moment. Um, he is a... Um, a very well-renowned um, security professor at the University of Nijmegen. We have Ancilla van der Leest, who was up till last week the uh, party frontman, uh, front woman of the pirate, Dutch Pirate Party, which did not get a seat in the Dutch election, sadly. Um, Jaya Balu, which is uh, the CTO of KPN, the CSO of KPN. Chief Security Officer, uh, we want some more people to be in our board of, of advisory. Then the current plan of, of selling such a building, what is the process? Um, now, as you can see, there, there are a lot of governmental parties involved and uh, some markets, which are the light gray uh, uh, parties involved. Do I have a mouse there? Yes. Um, we're currently are past step three and going to step four, which means that at some point in the near future, there might be an official uh, consultation for bidding uh, on the internet. There, there's also still the possibility that the uh, city government gets to buy it at first hand, but as currently indicated by the city, they're not planning on buying it first and giving it or selling it to the party of their wish. So, um, what we plan on doing there some, some more is, uh, of course, having our hacker space there, uh, but we're not going to fill, fill all the areas. Um, we plan on having some companies there, as buying it costs a lot of money. Um, and, and yeah, there needs to be some money back as nobody will loan you a lot, a very big lot of money. Um, but we also plan on having uh, residential stay, staying possible for people who say, yeah, I want to do a year of research and, and I want to have a nice place to do it. Uh, we plan on having a data center there, as for some reasons the power is very cheap. So you can use the data center to pay for your hacker space, which would be an awesome ID. Um, and we need more IDs. If you, you have an ID what, for what you can use an office at a tech campus, um, or what kind of research could be done there, or what we can ask companies to do there, technical companies, uh, we are very well uh, interested in knowing that. We do have a... B, uh, um, a website, and our website uh, currently also features a very nice uh, background movie. So where is my mouse? Um, which gives you a nicer idea of 
what it actually looks like. Not only pictures, but moving images. Um, this is the, the entrance gate. This is also monumental. Um, it's built somewhere in the 1800s. The idea is Pan Opticum. Uh, there were three jails in the Netherlands built with this idea that as a prisoner, you didn't know if people were watching you, just like the current surveillance uh, state. Um, so they didn't have to watch all the time to give you the idea that you were being watched all the time. Um, everything within the fences is what goes with the, the, the area that's being sold. Um, and these are the surroundings nearby the train station, the river. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty modern building. It's uh, modernized four years ago. It uh, has, has network power, everything. It's being painted uh, nicely. It's very well maintained. And last year, uh, it was even maintained again completely. So it's not like you're buying an old building with old infrastructure, but it's an old building with modern infrastructure. Um, yeah, there's some, some drawbacks, of course, with buying such a big dome. Um, that is that the walls are big. Uh, you cannot really drill through them. It's not really allowed. So there are some drawbacks. And um, the roof should also stay intact, preferably, for your ideas. So if you have some nice ideas, please go to our website. Please sign up. <coughs> uh, you get some, some emails. We also organize already some lectures uh, throughout the, the year at our current uh, hackerspace location inside uh, the chapel. And we're planning on doing a lot more if we have this very nice location. So, any questions? How are we planning for, to pay for it? Uh, actually, we're trying to loan the money. Uh, not from a bank, from some, some other uh, institutions that exist for especially loaning money to people who want to buy all, old infrastructure and do awesome things with it. They exist. So we're not going to, to have a crowdfunding to, to buy it. We're, we're really not planning on doing that. Um, that would be also almost impossible. As you can expect, it will cost multiple millions as buying a lot of piece of land in almost the middle of the city. Some more questions. What are the dimensions of the dome? I don't know the numbers out of my head because they're big. Um, I, I, I don't know. They, what? Um, yeah, two white houses white. And then around. What? As, about the space shuttle. Hi, yes. So it really will fit. Now the space shuttle, you need to take the top one meter nose cone off, else it won't fit. <laughs> uh, sorry, again? Yeah, but the maps are officially published, so you can... can And Google Maps will, uh, it's very recognizably in Google Maps. You'll find it very easily. <laughs> Some more questions? And uh, yeah, thank you. If you have any questions, just uh, email us, go to the website, sign up, and we'll uh, send you more information when we have it available. Thank you very much.